All right, let's get into something new on this channel. I think it's time we do some different things. We're going to start off Pez finally updates. I can finally play Master League. Um, pretty much I've done nothing with this game. Um, but no, we're going to get in. Says I know it always causes a lot of things, but I'm going to start with my team because I've my first thing, so I want to play with my team. I'm, I've got ideas with other teams. I'll even, you know what, I'll show you right now before we look at the managers. I've got ideas for all different Master Leagues. Um, oh, we went all the way back to the start. That's brilliant. <coughs> so, obviously, Celtic's obviously my team. I've done videos in the past. I've just deleted them since. But I've looked at the likes of, like, uh, doing one with Monaco. Uh, obviously, they had a very bad season last season. Uh, trying to rebuild the likes of AC Milan, I think, would be a good one to do uh, here. I'm not a big Ajax fan. I actually prefer Feyenoord, so I'm actually thinking one with them could be in that down the line. Sporting Lisbon. It uh, would be a good challenge trying to get past the likes of Porto and Benfica to get to the top of that would be good as well. Um, so no, there's definitely a few there, uh, but obviously I do want to play with my own team first. New game, so you want to do. So I need to admit I do like the managers. Obviously, Cruyff, one of the greatest footballers of all time, a great manager too. Uh, obviously passed away now. Uh, we've got Maradona, the king of cocaine, uh, Zico, probably one of the greatest players to never win a World Cup, uh, Romario, who's actually a senator now in Brazil, uh, I've actually googled that, uh, Bebeto, I feel like an absolute idiot, because I had to google, and once I saw his name, I realised, yeah, I know who that is, everyone knows who Roberto Carlos is, it matters, obviously, good old Gullet, um, well, British TV, you see him as a pundit all the time. These guys seem to just be made up by the looks of it. Uh, they don't seem to, I suppose he looks like a lot of managers. Uh, um, but we're looking through all of these guys here. Obviously, I was, I was very tempted to pick this one. Don't ask me why. But for some reason, I was tempted because he just left Celtic um, and went with Brendan Rodgers. For some reason, I wanted to change that guy's name to Colo Toure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why. I just looked at it and thought, you know what? That could work. <laughs> uh, but no, we won't do that because something else happened when I looked at these and I thought, you know what? He's going to win. See, I look at all these guys. This one looks like a much overweight John Barnes. Newcastle fans will be happy. There's Steve Bruce. But this is the one I'm going to pick. <laughs> and there's a reason why. Look at his face. Look at his hair. The only question is... Um, well, we're going to be fair. Actually, to be fair, is he actually... I want to say it, but I want to make sure at the same time. Yeah, he is. I was just making sure. So we're going to have to... We are North America. Our manager is American. I mean, look at look at that. I mean, what have we got here? Shut. Sportsman. Now, nah, we'll keep him in a suit. Now, there's a reason why he's American, looking at that face. Now, I was going to call him by his character name. But we are going instead, well, actually, to be fair, and we'll give him his full name. Usually you just do the first letter and uh, go from there. But this man, without a shadow of a doubt, looks like the Green Goblin himself, William Defoe. So William Defoe is going to be the man to lead Celtic to 10 in a row. Because to me, that is William Defoe. <laughs> I don't know why that's what I see when I look at him. So that wins. Um, obviously with turned off background music I usually just do a kind of four minutes a half uh, I'm leaving professional for now because I'm not playing a lot of this game I'd rather see a weekly wage transfers I think that's I'm just going to keep all on normal I don't need transfers going out of control negotiations just normal starting budget I've, I, I tried starting a couple to see what the budgets do if you put it on large you start with 140 odd million um, on normal you start with about 45 to 50 um so normal you just get the fair budget if you feel like giving yourself a challenge if you're going to play as a smaller team um you could give yourself the, the real challenge like if you're going to play as like hamilton Nackies, you could put it as small you know you get a real challenge out of that um see so right now it's just kind of the setup we're just wanting to get a kind of first look at the stuff in this to so say it's pretty much still the same game i would say it's, They've changed a lot of things with managers and stuff like that, but I wouldn't say there's that much of a difference. Um, Willem Dafoe is now entering the legendary actor who's taken a career. <laughs> then it doesn't really look like him. Oh, look, there's Colo Tooney walking with him. <laughs> and there's our club captain, Scott Brown, uh, Fraser Forrester. 
who I think was a pointless signing by Celtic. That's my personal opinion. Uh, James Forrest, uh, sitting there, very baby-faced there. <laughs> And God only knows who that's supposed to be. Probably Mikey Johnson or something like that. Guys have been at the club for years. They couldn't be bothered giving them a face scan. I like all these wee intro things and that, but I think as time goes on, it's exactly the same as FIFA. The first time you what, added the negotiations in FIFA, you sat and played it and you were like, oh, this is uh, this is pretty cool. But after you've done it like three times, you were like, this is... This is boring. <laughs> I'm fed up with these cutscenes. Uh, well, Willem Dafoe seems to... We're going to say Colo Tunis is assistant. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. And whoever that young guy is meant to be. John Kennedy. There we go. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. The goal's going to be to win the league. Of course it is. That's without a shadow of a doubt. And I think we go into the press conference here. I think we're just going to start pressing the skip button here to get through this stuff. Yep, so we're just going to skip ahead. Um, we will win the title. I respect other teams around me, but let's face it, it's the Scottish League and Celtic are expected to swoop ahead. Uh, what style of football? Well, I want to put on a show. I'm doing a YouTube channel. I want to put on a show. I want my stuff to be entertaining. Um, no, no. We want to put on a show, obviously. Right, from here, we are just into everything, really. Right, I might skip ahead here and just do everything and then show you what I've done. Right, I've got to say, this is the free agent list. Holy cow. Look at the players and the free agents. Is Hubble's not at Bayern Munich anymore? I have no idea he left if he's sitting in the free agents. Um, but, man, guys like Raw, there's some players in there for free agents. Very tempted to go. I'm actually curious, though, how realistic is he would welcome a move to the club Aye, for 176000 a week. My salary budget, I've got eighteen grand I can offer. Oh, God, well, that wouldn't be happening. At least there's a bit of realism in that. But no, look at this. Some of these are crazy. Simultic, Luis Adriano, Marquisio, Ben Arthur, Van Persie, Abate, Adriano. We go back to the top, see Bastos, Ewan Franchek, Tevez, Barzaghi, Casillas, Robin, Hummels, Montalivo, Lassara Diara, Charles, Nkunku, St. Just, Fabio Contral. Begovic, Boyata, you're not coming back. Screw you. Have fun fighting relegation. Uh, <laughs> Gareth Barry, Lichtensteiner, hate him. Uh, no, there is some players in this. Bertolacchi, who is actually getting linked with Celtic uh, just towards the end of the window. Um, no, definitely some interesting ones there. Danny Simpson, if you ever need somebody to slap your missus about for you. I'm sure him and Flanagan would make a good double team. Right, so this is a little list I've put together here uh, with players that I could maybe get, you know, Berzagli, he's on a little bit. So I don't really need a first team centre-back. Uh, I kind of just need a backup centre-back. Uh, I need a right-back as well. Uh, because El Hamed can play centre-back and right-back, I kind of want someone who can play centre-back and right-back. Um... And that's kind of making me lean more towards good old Jerry Saint. I don't know if it's just or just or just juicy. God only knows how it's pronounced. Um, but he would be ideal. God knows what he's going to ask for. But we're going to have a peek and find out. Right, 26. He would welcome a move. He would like a release fee. But if I get him for free, then he'd have his release fee. So... I would need to go down to that. Uh, could offer him a clean sheet bonus. Let's see. Maybe bunk that up since we've taken quite a bit of money off him. You know what? I'll give him a win bonus as well. I'll put that right up. There you go. I mean, let's see. Let's see, that's about five grand. Right, so if we do that, that bunks his, his wage up a bit. 
You know, that, that'll give them, that'll hopefully make them hot and horny. You know what, I'm just going to bunk that up, because you don't really notice that disappearing for your wage or anything. So I'm going to give that, oh, we can put that up. Oh, whoops. You know what, I'll even put this down to, I'll say 20 million. And if it can give us two years at least, and then we can negotiate a new contract down the line. So, there's no point putting bids in for any more players, because we've got no money for those players. So, <laughs> that pretty much ends that. Well, no time wasted, man. Fast forward, we're already at match day. No pre-season friendlies, uh, which is kind of a shame. I'd like to have tested my formation. Uh, St. Jussie obviously doesn't have his full likenesses here. He roughly looks like him, so I can live with that. I hate that Celtic top. Although I did create a new one, uh, which I might be tempted to use. <laughs> I'll probably use it if I get to a second season. I'll use it in the second season. Oh, no, we're not done yet. All right, let's just fast forward to the question. Will you be using new signing? Uh, I doubt. I haven't decided. Yeah, I'm going to be using him. He's probably going to start as long as his uh, morale and stuff like that's fit and ready to go. Well, that's not all. Uh, there's no point editing. Let's see. It looks like there's bids in. So Craig Gordon, I put up for sale. Some random made-up team have came in for him. Uh, I've loan listed Connor Hazard. He's young, so why not? We've got Bain there and we've got Forrester. So Craig Gordon is 37 years old, I believe. So he's going to be going on 38. Why not just get rid of him? It frees up a little bit of wages. It's only 12, 12 and a half grand a week. But you know what? That's money I could maybe put towards bringing someone else in. Just under a million uh, for him. So may as well accept that. Being a good servant, Craig Gordon. I've always been a fan. Personally, I don't think Forrester should have been signed. But hey, that's what's happened. Don't know what we're going to get with 14 and a half grand a week. Obviously, Jerry is in. And that's the only bid that came in. All right, then. All right. Livingston are a tough side. That's no reason to fear them. Hey, we're at home. And Livingston fought relegation. Get them humped. All right, we're going to do the opening contest in this video. This will be our way to end it. We've made one-sided. Uh, our setup. I've done all the training and stuff like that. I've done that off camera. Uh, right, well, here we go. Obviously, Celtic Park. Uh, looks like it's been detailed uh, just a little bit more. Don't think we've got the disco lights going. Uh, I highly doubt it, but I guess we'll find out when we get to a European match. But I highly doubt they've went that far as they don't really put that much thought into the Scottish teams. Celtic when do they ever? Really right, so I tried doing uh, videos uh, last year with Pez. I put them up, but oh man, the editing was terrible. So I'm going to work a little bit harder, and we're going to try and get a series of this up and running again. And hopefully I can build up another fan base to go with what I already do. Obviously, the main thing I do is some wrestling stuff, but I want to try and build up other fan bases also. So, Celtic Park ready to kick off the season. There's no way it would be that busy for, well, maybe a season opener. This is last year's setup. So, we've put uh, Jerry St. Justy, he's had it right back. Uh, Sinclair, Bain to me, Bain done nothing wrong, uh, so why Forrester should steal his spot is not fair. Um, Bolly's getting an odd ahead of Taylor. Menga, well he left Livingston, uh, he wanted to bugger off back to whatever the hell he was for. I think it was Angola or something like that. Well, Julian doesn't have a face scan like every new player. All right. Well, first game, let's end this video on a high. Or start the season on a high. As I'm going to use the the new camera mode. Uh, there's something about it I quite like. Yeah, there's something about it I don't like. So it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens after a few games. How my mind might change. I can obviously say there won't be any new signings until... Oh. Make the run. There won't be any new signings until I've uh, 
got rid of some of the dead wood at the club because there's a lot of players there I just really don't care about keeping there's guys like Beaton and that I know they've done all right in real life but I just don't see where I'm going to use them Accuracy. there you go Justy oh what the hell how did he do that could be a chance here Oh, well oh, I thought I was going to be a foul there. Sinclair. My God. So difficult to actually get a pass to go where you want it to. Make the run, Eddie. He's through the middle. Son of a bitch. Managed to get it away. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, what was that? I've not even challenged the keeper. Sinclair. Get to the ball and take the shot, you giant dumbass. I've had a couple of matches in the exhibition, man. I will admit it's realistic because you can't sprint like that and just turn in without losing the ball. So I will admit that it's realistic at that point. But it's maybe that kind of realism that's too realistic. Plays it out to the flank. He needs quite a run he's making here. Back to um, Juicy. Oh my god! <laughs> Really? The, the, the two of you are there! The oh my god! <laughs> Unbelievable! Wow! Not had a single shot on target. Not had a shot! Oh my god, this is terrible. This needs to improve. This is bad. Very bad for me. Already. Up towards the front line. Right, Ajar, you're at six foot six. Should he's never lose a head there. up. Oh, that's that's Brown at his finest. And the weighted pass. On Forest. One thing you've got is pace. It's on a plate. Oh! <laughs> I was trying to go for the simplest, the simplest of goal. What the hell, Bolly? Oh my god. Well, he's realistic. Jerry's in. Nobody's there. Again, that is two times he has hit a lovely cross. Lovely bit of skill there. Sinclair. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, Brown! Oh, he is definitely too realistic. Cannot pass a ball. And it's been taken straight back. This is, oh my god, oh my god, the passing. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> and little promise of a goal due to the shot shy nature of this contest, but. Give it up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch. Has a goal! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! This is horrendous! Looking to hit the front line. Oh I want the Livingston goalkeeper testing for steroids. A real chance if we can get I knew that was I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. Oh thank god. Concentration levels are very good, and so Sinclair. Gets the ball. Gets oh my God, he skied it! Oh my God, that was a horrible, horrible performance. Absolutely horrible. 
manager will be unhappy with this. Yes, yeah, so unhappy? And two shots on target against Livingston. Thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That oh my god. Oh, well of the fool. Bow your head in shame. Oh, that was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Well, everyone else got a win, so I'll be sitting mid-table, yep. That was an awful performance. Absolutely terrible. Uh, I don't know what the hell the team was like, automatically doing a dummy and stuff like that. It was a t definitely going to have to do something and have a look at something. That is for damn sure, because that is just a horrible... Horrible performance there. Absolutely terrible is. Yep, look, he's shitting himself out. He's like, right, we need to do something different. The, the reaction from the... <laughs> you better be lying. The press would be eating us up if we drew our opening game and only had two shots on target. Well, the next game is going to be Ross County 808 oh, Dingwall. Um... Oh, good God. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Well, people, that'll be the end of this one as we've got bids for Forrester and Griffiths. A load offer for Hazard. A load offer for Kuasi. I'm going to accept the Kuasi one. He can go out on loan. Griffiths, I'm not interested in selling Griffiths. I'm not going to lie, the Forrester one... I'm going to be so angry at Newcastle. Of all teams, Newcastle want their their project back. Uh, got seven million for a guy that we only had on loan. That's very tempting, by the way. I might not do anything with that right now. I might just wait and see what happens there. Uh, even that is renegotiation improved in this game because it was awful in the last game. Right, that's his value, right? We'll see if they come back with his value. <laughs> the extra few hundred thousand. We'll see if they come back with his value. Uh, I could be tempted. Uh, I'd be quite happy because in real life, I kind of wanted to maybe let Craig Gordon go and I'd like to have seen the young boy Hazard uh, moved up to the bench and been the first team keeper. And then Hazard could have played the League Cup games. For all you know, you've got a quality goalkeeper there. There's not a lot of bad players in the world with the name Hazard. There's not a lot of not not a lot of Northern Irish people with the name Hazard, uh, but there you go. But oh, I cannot I can't get over that game so bad. Right, anyway, people, this is this video stretching on enough. Um, but oh god, right, things need to change. That is for damn sure. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.